Hey guys, so Phantom Cave here with the latest Phantom Cave video slash comic. So we're here at Phantom Cave Studios right now and we're going to review this Phantom World special number 9. So let's have a look. And currently we do not know what who the cover artist is. So I'm, to me, I'm guessing Romando Filming. So something like that. Uh, so next issue, more from Brazil, on sale, number 10's on sales, 19th of September 2019. So this one, this comic's got four stories from Fratelli Spada, which back in like 1960s and 70s and all that sort of stuff. We've got a couple different artists that have done the interior work. We've got, I think, Umberto Samarini, um, Antonio Scarlatti, uh, and Saino Sayayo Pratesi, or something like that. So this one's also about all well the main evil character in this one is all about this guy which is Membala Membala. So yeah, it this story's all about um this guy trying to take over the villages and try and get their possessions and their wealth basically. So the Phantom actually comes up with a plan and and, well, actually does it. And it's the guy behind... The guy behind the statue, actually, is this guy. So we'll f find out in the last frame, which is this page here. He actually dies. He... I don't, don't know if he dies, but he falls over a cliff. But they say here, is... Membala, M Membala, I can't say that word, Membala, Membala, really finished. So, is this supposed to, this is directly to few or wherever, it is there actually a, like, sequel, or, yeah, a sequel to this story? Because it'd be pretty cool if there was. It'd be pretty cool if there was. It'd be gnarly. Um, but, yeah, this one's directed to few if... Can you please check to see if there's a sequel to this story? Because I think few fan like Phantom fans would really want to know if there is a sequel and see if it's getting get published soon enough. So this story is also for Telly Spada one. It's Antonio Scott Otti. I can't say his name. Scott Otti. So um. In, it's called Education Education of Clarence Kubli, which the this little kid, he's like a like he's not that he's not that great. He's a bit of a naughty person. But the Phantom actually learnt um lessons he learnt teaches him a life lesson in this comic. Which is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. So the kid goes back with a memory from. Well, I j I found out on the last page he actually gets a memory from the the island of Enden. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But in these stories, they actually like skip a like they skip a couple scenes. So what is that with it? Do they want me want us to miss little storylines and all that sort of stuff to do with these comics? I'm just bringing that thought up. So this comic is a shrinking potion. This one's actually a bit of a peculiar story. It's say like it's the same with that story of Kit and the Little People, which I've actually got. Um, and it's where is it? So the phantom actually gets shrunken down to a little sized person, and these little guys have been sh been small for many, 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 many years, 
and they only recently, with the help of the Phantom, actually get to go giant size a bit. Like, they go back to normal size. So, yeah. So, then, the story of the Phantom that which we heard in this story is actually passed down to generations to generations of, to, like, I don't know, to pass down phantom knowledge or something like that. So, the fourth story we have today is a sort of, like, American-based, no, well, it's not American, but it's influenced by Sly Barry, I'm pretty sure. It's um, influenced by the American comics. It's influenced by a lot of stuff. So it has main character, obviously, is the Phantom and the Diana. Actually, I just finished reading this comic, and it's very, very good. It's very, very good. Like, this one in, in particular. Because, me, to me, I actually, I love these sort of types of ones, because... They just, they have more interest. I like the American style of comics. Not putting anything out there for the other countries. Just say, putting my opinion out there. So, the main story in this one is that Diana gets kidnapped. And, it, well, firstly, she um, witnesses a murder. And then gets targeted by the, this um, gang, and then finally it all he it all unheaves, and the guy that actually started it in the, in the first place gets put on the death row. Well, which is in America they have a death row, and he, well in this part he there's guns below that, Phantom strikes first. Uh, there's another part to it. The car goes into the, her building. We all think she's dead, but, 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 there's a little twist coming. So she rolls in with like a wheelchair in a wheelchair. She, and then it says it. Therefore, the court sentences Dick Monroe to death, which in that case is the electric chair, which he says, I'm really going to die. Well, that's pretty promising. Pretty promising. So, yeah. That's the end of that story. And we have a few ad. So, you can get... There's new portfolios and a mini portfolio, which that mini one I actually got from Supernova. I'll put a link to the Supernova one on here, like the playlist, all that stuff. But this one, I think it's... That's Shane Foley... Jason Paulo's, and, uh, no, nah, oh, let me have a look, oh, there's Chewy Chan, I met him, met Jeremy, met Jamie, Shane, and then Tony Lemos, they're, they're, they're pretty cool, but this one, this one you gotta look out for, because they're A4 pieces, they're Glenn Lubson giant size covers, plus this one here, which is a bonus one, but to me, they don't even they don't have the annuals in there, so well, that's a bit of a bugger. So you can get all those at down here, phantomcomic.com.au. So this is a back cover. We talked about those stories. So if you want more Phantom Cave videos, down, so subscribe down below, like this video, share wherever you want, and. Um, comment down below if you want to, like, I don't know, if you want, like, like, I don't know, comment down, just comment down below if you just want to comment, I, I don't know, just comment down below if you want to comment and all that sort of stuff, so yeah, yeah, see you.